Greetings to you all. My name is Liam Alunamlu and I'm doing grade 12 at Center of Science and Technology in Western Cape. And um, today I'll be talking on self-love, self-appreciation, self-care, and how you can maintain this by yourself, for yourself, yes. Um, so self-love is a state of appreciation. And a state of appreciation is actually appreciating yourself the way that you are and how God created you. We all know that God created us uniquely and even though we are the same, but in some way we are different, not really the same. And um, it's important for one to appreciate themselves the way that they are because there are things in life that you can control. There are things in life that you cannot control. So that's why it is important to appreciate yourself the way that you are and be proud of yourself and Never let anyone to judge you or never let the judgments of other people to let you down. And self-love also goes along with self-appreciation. Loving yourself um, means that you have full self-confidence, you have high self-esteem, and you have high self-image. Because if those factors that you if those factors are low, or if you don't have those factors at all, if you lack them, then it means you're not a confident person. And should you not be a confident person, that it means you, are, you have fear of going in public. Because a lot of people have judgments in public. Um, when they judge you, it's highly likely that um, you might have fear to face them. And some people, sometimes they end up being depressed or, I don't know, overwhelmed. It happens sometimes. And it's important to learn self-love and how to improve yourself or your development from other people. Or around other people because um, there's a saying in Klausa that goes umdu, umdu, abandu. that means you cannot live in a society or in a community where you cannot accept help from other people so that's why it's important to accept help and as much as people might care about you it's also a true thing you also have to care for other people as well because you cannot accept help whereas you cannot help other people so that's what I'm saying it's a true thing and without humanity in our societies, it means we cannot live with one another. Without humanity, it means there's no so social growth. It means there's no economic growth because economic growth comes along with helping one another, being able to grow from one position to another position. And um, this means that people that you live with are different, but it's just up to one person to be able to grow from that certain environment and be able to understand other people because we all have different behaviors. We all have um, different personalities and sometimes it's difficult to understand a person who has a different um, personality from yours. And we all aspire to live a full life, fully committed, a life full of love, life full of joy, full of growth and a healthy life. So. That's why self-love, self-care, and self-appreciation is important. There's no way you can be a person who's fully happy with a lot of joy in your life if you don't have these three factors. If you like these factors, then it means you're not happy. And it's important to be happy in your life because it also makes another person happy, I guess. Because for another person to be happy, it starts with you or within yourself. So, yes, thank you.